Good vibes only. I want to say welcome, welcome. Hey, if you guys tuning in on Facebook right now, tuning in on YouTube right now, we are uh, welcome to, first of all, Trini Spice FM Island Brunch. Um, <laughs> our guest today would be Nikki G, The Voice. That promo you just heard was actually Nikki G, The Voice. That, that sultry, sexy voice that you guys heard. This is the girl right here. This is the lady right here. Um, I'm your host, DJ PRS1, Reagan. Um, and of course, you guys know my sister, Dr. G. <laughs> Hi, Alicia. <Olivia. laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, Miss Nikki G. The one and only Nikki G, the voice. Welcome, Nikki. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, everyone. The sultry voice is not so sultry, it's a little bit. On the high note side, reality. But... It's reality. She, she, she's going horse after hearing all this stuff. So don't worry. After the show, we're faxing us some honey. And <laughs> I didn't have lime, so I had to use a lemon. But, it, you know. Yeah. It's done so. that hard work. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just to let you know, some people might like that little horse voice. You can, yeah. you can run some promos with that, too. It's I'm true. Too. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. I, I, I was joking with a friend. I'm like, um, a Jamaican promoter that I know. Right. He's like... I need that voice. I need you to sing for me. Like he literally got me on something and started recording the same day. He's like, Nick, before that voice goes away, let's let's record something. Right, right, right. Yeah. See? But, and, and and look at DMX. DMX, you know, um, rest rest in peace, DMX. But DMX made, you know, he that was he was known for that rusty, you know, rusty voice that 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 arp arp. You know what I mean? Yeah, that, yeah. That, that, so it it doesn't always have to be a smooth voice, but. That was that was what he was known for, that rough voice, you know. True. That's so you know, true. Not everybody can be me and have this, you know. No. <laughs> <laughs> so eloquent. So Nikki, uh, everyone knows you as, you know, Nikki G, the voice. You are, you know, I think worldwide. That voice is just promoted wherever you can find a a Caribbean bandwave listening band out there. So but what we want to know, because being a, a brother-sister team, I, we like to dig into just, not even the dirt, but just to know who's Nikki. First of all, we you have like the last name G. So <laughs> we want to know, are you like a long lost cousin, sister? Because, you know, Nikki yeah. G could be anything. You I'm Nikki Guidi. Hey. G. <laughs> Nikki G. <laughs> Love it. So tell us a little bit about Nikki. All right, so I'll start with the name. The name is Goddard. Um, I, I, I got that name because um, when I first started, I had to find a name for myself, you know, and I had to make it short. And you know, in, in our, um, in the entertainment industry, most people don't use their full names. Right. So I needed a short name. And everyone always, my best friends and my close friends call me Nikki. And at that time, when I came out, like I grew up with Kenny G. Right. So I was like, you know right. what? I'm yeah. going to be Nikki G. Right. Yeah. That so works. that's that how works. that came hey. about. That's like everybody was Bantan in, in, in Jamaica, remember? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was Buju Bantan. Uh, what, a whole bunch of Bantans. Everybody yeah, was Bantan. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, Even when G6 came out, I had yep. G6 at the time for my, for my SoundCloud. Okay. So I was Nikki G six. Okay. Okay. And then I dropped okay. it, and I and I became Nikki G the voice. Right. That's like that's like me. I had to go with DJ PRS one because Regan Gayadin was just too long to put on. <laughs> <laughs> to say as a DJ, you know, it's kind of too long to say DJ Regan Gayadin. Exactly. Exactly. So, so Nikki, tell us, you know, um, I we're both parents, so I'm a mom. I have a. a, a beautiful daughter and Regan he he's you know dad and and so we have our roles as parents you know and tell us a little bit about you your your background your family like what is there to know about Nikki not just the voice okay all right um so I hail from the beautiful island of Trinidad and Tobago um, I was <laughs> I was raised, hence the red. Um, Ooh, I like that. 
I was raised in South Trinidad. <laughs> We're South people. Yeah. Yeah. It's the oil and the coil, right? It's right, right, yes. right, right, right. So, so I was raised in South Vistabella. Okay. Um, I always loved singing, entertainment industry, modeling. So I did a lot of those. Right, um, right. Uh, so just to fast forward, when I came to the States, I always said I wanted to sing, you know? Um, I did singing at home, all of that. Um, but I found that over here was flooded with singers. Right. You know, it was so flooded. And a friend of mine said, you know what? I know this guy called Ali. Um, people might know him as um, Moko Jumbies. He does the Moko Jumbies on the stilts. He was the original um, Moko Jumbie person. Right. So they said okay, that we had Ali didn't sing doubles, but. <laughs> <laughs> Not that Ali. Right, right. So he, um, they said that I had a beautiful voice on the phone. So he wanted me to come in and see how I would do with recording. So okay. I'm like, I'm game. I'm, you know, since I can't sing, I want to use my voice in some way. And from that, when he heard my voice, the first taping we did, He's like, I have a show. I'm going to make it yours. I'm like, my own show? He's wow. like, yeah, I think you could do it. So it was Nikki G on Saturdays on the weekends. Right. Um, And that's how Nikki G was born. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you had to wow. come up with that quick So was this like a radio? It was a radio show? Yeah, it was or a radio. Radio yeah. show. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. So and you're so new, you're nowhere new to radio and all that stuff. Yeah, wow. now now I'm not, but that that very initial, right. like I wasn't on radio before then, right? So that was my very initial um, introduction to radio. Oh wow! Yeah. So then yeah. what took you from being on your own show and then brought you into like doing these types of like promotions and getting yourself out there as that voice behind these like major promotions? Yeah. Well, because it was a radio show, I started doing promos for them. Right. And then he, he taught me, he gave me my own machine, like the mic and everything. And he said, you know, I want to teach you how to um, do the commercials. I think you're going to do fine with it. We stayed like after the radio show, let's say like five o'clock. Right. We stayed until like six or seven in the, the morning because I love Jersey. So we stayed until the morning. My friend dropped me there. And he's like, you'll be fine with him. He's going to teach you what you need to do. And we spoke like we were best friends, you know, because Ali is is so, um, he's very energetic and he has so much, um, he knows so much about the industry. Right. Right? right. So he wanted to teach me everything. So that's how, you know, I got into doing the commercials for him. And it just took off from there, you know. Wow. That was great. That was great. So, I mean, did you have to learn the whole? Because, I mean, <clears throat> I've listened to some of your promos and they're really intricate. Like, you do variations of your voice, and it's like, it's it, it's something you can't just say, okay, I'm going to go do a promo. And, hi, da, da, da. you know, it's not one of those things. You have to build it. And, and, and even though it's only like sometimes 30 seconds, 11 seconds, you pull that off with so many different levels and it's amazing how you do it. You know, it's, it's one yeah. of those. But did you have to learn that? I mean, what? <clears throat> no, it, it, in a way, I think I had it. Not, you know, see, some people have natural talent. Right. So it was one of those things that you, you it create it was created in your mind and you just had to, to get it out. there. Yeah, it's just, I, I know yeah, exactly it's what you just mean. To right. be right. able to do it. Um, <clears throat> my throat is a little. That's all right. We got honey and lemon. We got honey and lemon. <laughs> <laughs> I had water here, but I think it's upstairs. If you need some cough drops. See that, right? Yeah, I need that. You need some Vix. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I had all that, but it was like in my bag. I don't have it when right now. I think it's right upstairs. Right. I need some Vix. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, but it, it it came naturally. Right. With um, you know, people always say, Nicole, don't you ever take a breather from advertising like the way you talk mm -hmm. your levels go up and down right you gotta take a like breather now huh? you no know for sure you're taking a breather with, with, with your voice all messed up yeah <laughs> you have you to know? rest up that even voice. with that i did an ad 
and it came out nice. The person was like, I love it. It's different. It's different, you know? right? Because everybody's got the smooth voice and then you, you just drop them. Right. right. Yeah, yeah, so the little raspy voice instead right, of right. Yeah, having a fine voice, it was, it was more eloquent and a little deeper and different. Right. And he said he wanted something different. Yeah. Yeah, a whole bunch well, of fella. Yeah, a whole bunch of guys now listening to, to, to the promo going, yo, oh, yo, that how she sung when she wake up in the morning, isn't it? Really? <laughs> <laughs> she sung real good boy. <laughs> <laughs> and here I am now with, with my morning voice. They'll be right. like, oh, that's not Nikki. Good morning. That's right. Hey. Hey, good morning. hey that's her morning face. You, 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 you never know. It, it got people well, cool fantasizing like about this morning voice. You never know. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> right. So, so, Nikki, we want to know some stuff about you, um, and we definitely want to touch on Nikki, the mom, but Malta or Shandy? Um, Shandy. I like Malta. Mom or wine? Wine. Oh, good. I want wine, by the way. Excuse me? What kind? Um, I like Moet, and there's another one. When I remember it, I'll tell you. Moscato. So you like sweet, like kind of like sweet wine. Yeah. Yeah, I like sweet wines. I don't like bitter wines. I like white wines, not red, unless it's I think it's like the island people thing. Yeah. Oh, I think yeah, so. Dry wine. Yeah. Dry yeah. wine. Dry wine. Dry wine. <laughs> I don't like dry wine. No. Yeah. So, so not Trini. Let's have dry wine. Put some sugar in it. <laughs> Soul prune or tamarind roll? Oh my gosh. Um, I love sweet. So I'll do the tamarind roll. Tamarind roll. Okay. Doubles or sahina? Oh my gosh. That's hard. Yeah. I love both. Um, <laughs> I would say sahina, just the one with chana. Right, right, <laughs> right, 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 right. Sahina with chana. Right. <laughs> Right. Crab, Kalaloo, and dumpling or Palau? The crab and the Kalaloo, traditional. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> um, we asked Robbie this one. Smoke heron or saltfish? I would say smoke heron because it has that nice smoky taste, you know? So I, I like smoke heron. I like saltfish, but I like smoke heron to eat. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind <laughs> <like> that. <laughs> So, so Nikki, when first of all, um, how often do you get to to go back home to our homeland, yeah. home Trinidad? And I when you the last get time. to Trinidad, what is the first thing you need to get your hands on when you're back in Trinidad? Thing as in food to eat, or um, like for me, I always think of food. So it's like the minute I land, I'm already thinking doubles. Yeah. Where the, where the closest doubles vendor? Yeah. Well, that that's that has a funny story behind it with my cousin. But um, I always go back home. I always try to go home at least <clears throat> twice for the year. Right. Um, if need be, it'll be three times, but mostly twice. Um, either Christmas, summer, um, once in a while carnival, right? The last time I went home, it was for carnival and I had a ball because I think it was like the last time I played carnival was 10 years ago. Wow. Um, so, well, not 10 years ago because I played, what was that? There was something else I went home and I played. Right. So um, I went home before the pandemic actually, and I played carnival then. And the one thing that I, I, I go home to get, I always tell my cousin when I get home, I want Trini cheese and hops bread. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes i love yes. i love that melted yes. like melted i love and that hot. and then we can go for the doubles right right, right. The KFC, right. you know why right. I, I, yeah. I have a cousin well he, he lives in um in florida now but uh i had a cousin every time we used to go back as he picked you up in the airport you had an ice cold carob popped opener waiting for you oh as my as you gosh walked. as soon as you came out of that airport my cousin yeah. wayne would always give us and i'd always look forward to that coming off of that um uh when you come out of uh customs and stuff and yeah. coming out i'm looking for the carib <coughs> oh, there he is. you know first thing welcome and you welcome to trinidad boy <laughs> yeah yeah and he handed you the carib and yo that was always <laughs> nice for me i used to man 
because you needed it at that point coming out extra of course <laughs> of course i would do i would do i love i'm not a big drinker per se mm -hmm. so i'll do like the cannings um solo right, the, solo, right. the cannings red or the solo mm -hmm. and yeah when we're driving my brother would take me to kfc because he knows i love kfc mm -hmm. and then they'll do the double so whichever one comes first but something about the hops bread and cheese right right Ooh. right right it's the cheese that cheese, cheese. is so different yeah mm -hmm. the trini cheese oh yeah. my gosh yes like that like macaroni pie oh, with that cheese in it yeah it, it, nothing can beat that nothing yeah. let go yeah. <laughs> <laughs> has to be right. has to be yeah, and like some it. and with some golden ray yes yeah and Kalalu and all that oh gosh it, it's but every, everything awesome. is, you don't yeah, you don't it's different you don't the realize different. everything is different yeah you don't realize how our food how tasty it is mm -hmm, mm -hmm. until you come over here right because before when i was at home everyone would say oh you know the well we were kids back then right so they would say like the cheesies and everything was cheesier and all yes that stuff. yes and you get the big packs yes but now i'm like when i do big foot and all that it tastes way better right you know? right yeah. right right yeah, because we when we went the last time we went, but it was like two years ago. Um, as you said, the cheesies they had this the cheese. I forgot the name of it, but um, we I, 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 I ate some. Of, there was the cheese balls. Yeah, the planters, whatever it is. Yeah, we don't have that here for some reason. But anyway, when I ate, it, I was like, oh, it's a whole different texture. It's a whole different cheese. It's a whole different yep. flavor. It was it was mm -hmm. totally different, and you couldn't mm -hmm. stop eating it. <laughs> yeah, and the pharmacies they have it mostly. Right, right. So Nikki. Put on your mom hat. <laughs> Who's Nikki the mom? Nikki the mom is a parent of two um, adults right now. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, my daughter is, is turning 21 and my son is turning 23. <laughs> so I look a certain way. I know I always get that. And people are like, you have grown kids like that? I'm like, yeah. Yeah. When did you start it? Is it oil no! <laughs> is, 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 the is the oil in the coil? Is the oil in the coil? Yes, exactly. That's right. That's <laughs> my right. jeans, my, right. my my family jeans is like very, very because a, a, a lot of people look at me right now and, and, and you know when I tell them my son is I have a twenty one year old son and he's in the military and stuff like that. Like, what? You have a twenty one year old son? Yeah. I'm I'm fifty. Yeah, they want to know. Like, I just turned fifty, you know. It's like what? So, Nikki, what is like a typical day? Like, for example, if you had the day where you could just be at home, um, and and have your kids around and stuff like that, what 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 would that that day be like for you? All right. So, our typical day because um, my kids were raised around sports. They play soccer naturally. Right. right. They wanted to play soccer, so. We're a family that we're, we're never home. You know, I'm basically a soccer mom. But now that they're older, like my, my daughter did dancing as well. So um, either we go to the beach or where um, we're planned that day with friends, right. you know, or um, probably go with her to a, a class or maybe her soccer um, tournament. And that'll take up the entire weekend. Um, me at home, like this morning, like I got up, I'm a morning person. Right. So I would get up and I would cook and I would play my music and um, I listen to like like gospel early in the morning, like soothing gospel, something right. soft, like when I'm taking a shower and stuff. And then after that is like, it's soft, my soca, put on a radio station and listen to DJs that um, use me as promos, you know, catch up on that, stuff like that, you know? awesome so yeah. coffee or tea i forgot tea. to ask. i'm a big tea drinker yeah you need some tea <laughs> help that boy <laughs> yes <laughs> i've been doing that i've been doing um honey lime there's this thing like curry what do you call it uh, the saffron Sa yeah like, like saffron um the cumin is that what it's called over here cumin yeah cumin, yeah okay. <clears throat> i've been doing that and like all natural. Okay. Yeah. That's not masala. 
no, that way. Somebody told me that. Like, even when I thought it was masala. It. And then yeah. they put it in a bottle and they make it nice and they're like, it's tea. Yeah, but but the natural one where you can grate and it looks yeah. yellow. What you whip, what you it made curry? Like a, uh, it almost looks like a ginger. The yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Turmeric. 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 Yes. turmeric, exactly. So I do turmeric, turmeric. Mm. Yeah. That, you know what, Nikki? That's good for everything. 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 It's. I heard fertility too. Yes, it's uh, it's very medicinal. Yeah, so that is something that goes way back. Like our ancestors and stuff, they use that for just about everything. So, me up, um, so much it's, it's really good. What yeah. is it, Regan? Are you hearing voices? No, I said nah. He set me up, boy. I have so much turn. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> my cousins were telling me that. It's like, Nick, just be careful that you don't want to be that fertile. Like, right, right, right. So much. <laughs> right. So, the turmeric, when we, when we were actually having a quick story, when we were actually having our, my, 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 um, my second son, yeah. um, to, to clean out and all that stuff, she had to drink the turmeric and all that stuff oh. before we tried because you couldn't have. It, from what I learned from, from you know from the older generation mm-hmm. is that it, it it could actually get rid of the baby it's like <laughs> really yes yes oh, yeah, because it's, it's a cleanser it's cleanser yes. right so you, you after she's done drinking the tea and all that stuff and it's done then you can go you know oh. talk about it but you know <laughs> you have to do that you know guys you have to do that <laughs> right Thank you. oh my goodness so <laughs> Nikki what is the what is the signature dish that Nikki is known for? Like when the when 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 the kids are home, the family come over. What is the what is the thing that was the what's the Nikki spread? Yes, um, it's a couple of things that they do. They love my dal, my curry, right? My curry chicken. They love that lasagna. I make very well. Mm-hmm. Um. I have Kenyan friends, so I make samosas. Okay. Ooh. As well, and my pilau. My friends call it what they call it. <laughs> this 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 thing. Oh gosh, it's kind of embarrassing, but they call it wet pilau or something like that. Right, 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 right. You know, right. yeah, like your pilau is so good. What did right. you do to the it? Sticky, sticky one. <laughs> right. Yes. <laughs> You're like, what did you do to it? Did you like do yes. something to it? Like, why do we eat so much of your pilau? Right. <laughs> you guys are too Some much. Okro in it, yes. <laughs> Okro. Well, this is like this. I can't believe like the time is just like zooming by. It goes right. by really fast. I, I know. I just you know, want to so know. One quick so, question before you go, before we 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 lock it up real quick. <laughs> and Alicia and I had discussed this earlier. Um, it who. I know you've worked with a lot of artists. You've interviewed a lot of artists. You've, um, you know, had to work with a whole bunch of a genre, a whole big, you know, portfolio of people. I have. Who were you most nervous or most overwhelmed or starstruck working with or meeting up to, you know, meeting with and all that stuff? My number one, and, and has always been my number one. Marshall was my number one, but I right. got over it. Um, he still is. I, I love his creativity, no doubt. Boy, you get but, married, nobody wants to know your business no more. <laughs> <laughs> but Kes, Kes was my number one. Like, yes. I followed him. I work for Island Mix as well. Right. You know, as a photographer. I'm a photographer mm-hmm. as well as a voiceover. I th- and I saw some of his interviews, yes. Yeah. So when he was next to me, and he's so personable, you know. Right. He's so down to earth. And I have on like a corset thing, and all you could see is my chest going up and down, up and down. And I'm like, Nico, <laughs> breathe, breathe. Just take your time, relax. Get nervous and, I and made it questions. comfortable. And my questions were similar to yours, you know, asking him about his lifestyle and all that stuff. And it was, it was just a, a beautiful interview, you know. Like I, I, I interviewed him before, but because right. I had to interview him now. It, it it just took my breath away. Right, 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 yeah. right. And, yeah. and 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 being so close and making sure you want to represent yourself, you know, exactly in the right way. And I I, I, I could tell that, that yeah. Exactly. I think if when and when and if we get Kes on here, 
I think we'll probably all go through the same thing. <laughs> oh, he's so he's such a good artist, voice wise and he everything. Is. He's, he's way above. He took soca and Caribbean music to a different level. That he, you know, I, I want to say a lot of our younger artists are now coming up and doing it, but he's made the way for them to do it. You know, he's paved that way, and mm-hmm. and and he, it, he's amazing. He's really amazing. He is. He really is. <laughs> You know, well, that is a great way to wrap this up because we feel your sentiments exactly on that one. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> but Nikki, Nikki G, the voice, it has been an absolute pleasure having you on. Thank you so much for just giving us your time. We know that you are busy. You have so much going on. And just hopping on here to just share a little bit about you and just, you know, who you are, what you represent means the world to us. So thank you so much. And we look forward to all of your future perspective endeavors and everything you have going on. You know, I know Regan is on top of all of that stuff. Yeah. I, I, I get it trickled down from him because he, he's on it first. Exactly. While you're thinking it, he's already like in there. Yeah. Like, thinking through your mind, he's one of those. <laughs> but I want to say, I want to say thank you for inviting me. You know, it was such a pleasure. And when he invited me, you know, I'm I'm a very down to earth person. So when he invited me, I was like, me? You want to you want to interview me already? Yeah. You know, but which was very. Yeah, nice. And we don't call it interview. We lie in. We lie in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, tell know, Robbie we, we lie in. <laughs> Yeah, but um, it's a pleasure. Yes. <laughs> it's such a and pleasure. as we, you know, as we even said to Robbie, it's like when when all of this is is somewhat a thing of the past, where we can actually be able to meet up and travel freely and and be able to sit and physically have that time with people. It it would be so nice to sure. you know actually meet you, sit down with you. It doesn't have nothing formal. No, you know, we, we just want to like hang out. It could yeah. be in the kitchen while you're making your awesome pilau. Oh, yes. See what mm-hmm. you put in there. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it would be my pleasure. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, boy. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for viewing. Thanks for joining us on, on, on Trinity Spice FM's Island Brunch. Um, we have Nikki G, the voice, on here. Um, I just want to say, you know, from, you know, Alicia Gaiadine, Reagan, Nikki G, The Voice. Thanks for watching. Thanks for viewing. We're going to close it out a little bit now with a little bit of Nikki. You're locked in to Trinity Spice FM. Bringing you the best known and less known artists.